Hello friends, welcome to Zaytay Radio TV and today we will learn about how to drop out of high school. Step number one is, assess the reason you want to drop out, knowing why you want to drop out can help you decide whatever it is really the best path and can help you decide what to do. Some common reasons for dropping out are a lack of intellectual situation stimulation if you find high school to be too easy and you are bored you may be tempted to drop out and start college or vocational training early feeling unprepared and behind if you feel as through high school is too difficult you have missed too much content to ever catch up or no one will support you you may be tempted to leave high school and give up on your education. Having other responsibilities if you are unexpectedly becoming a parent, have an ailing family members or have to work to support your family, you may feel that dropping out of high school is your only option so that you have time to work. Step number two, ask about other options first, see your guidance, counselor or a teacher that you trust and tell them your situation. There may be a solution to your complaint that does not involve dropping out. If you are experiencing a lack of intellectual stimulate, you may be able to take more challenging classes. Some schools that do not offer advanced level courses on site may have relationships with college or with online based institutions you may even be able to dual enroll and complete an SSUS degree and your high school diploma at the same time. If you are feeling unprepared and behind you might have to work really hard to catch up if you are behind. The good news is that there are likely educators at your school that will work with you and help you. Particularly if they know, if they know that you are considering dropping out, ask about credit recovery, offer classroom, labor, like cleaning or organizing. In exchange for tutoring and find out what work can be made up. If you have other responsibility, talk to your guidance, counselor about them. You may be able to do a work program that earns both money and school credit. Your counselor may also know of financial resources that could help you financially while keeping you in school. Remember that a high school guardian's lifetime income is 100 to 15 percent higher than someone who drops out so dropping out may not be the best long-term solution for your family step number three do not drop out for someone else if someone else a parent a friend or a significant other is pressuring you to drop out tell them to stop this is a decision that only you can make this, de this decision could have a long ranging impact on your life, so you need to feel confident in your convening convocations. Step number five, from a responsible argument. You will have to explain your decision many times to many different people. Before you have those conversations, be sure that you can make a response clear argument for taking the path that you are taking for example i am not being served by this educational system i am not challenging interested or inspired by the curriculum or the educators i am choosing to drop out of high school so that i can pursue higher education on my own and find an ed educational institution that fits my academic goals for example, 
I am choosing to drop out because I feel like I have no other choice to make up the work and education. I missed by being absent for so many days. I would have to attend school for another year. My grades are so low that I may not be eligible for a diploma even if I do all of the work I am supposed to do. I will be much better off if I can just leave. get my get and start working for example i am choosing to leave school so that i can work full time while this decision may not make sense to you i know the needs of myself and my family and having the money to feed my family and myself is more important than learning about academic things that may never affect my life step number 6 asks about alternative high schools many school districts offer an alternative or independent high school this is often a school with more flexible times and a different minds mindset the students who attend alternative high schools can be more mature and often work if much of your complaint about high school is the environment and the students an alternative high school may be a better fit for you alternative high schools will sometimes allow you to accelerate your courses and finish early step number 7 make a plan for your future before you set the dropping out plan in motion you should know what you are going to do instead of high school you most likely will try to get a gad or high school equivalency it is important to do this as soon as possible while you are still in school mode if you plan to leave high school to start college or a vocational program be sure you can enter the program you wish to enter with a high school equivalency if you are planning to go to to go to work full time be sure you have a job lined up first find out how many hours you will be able to work and ask about benefits like health and dental insurance step number 8 anticipates others arguments the best way to be ready to answer the questions and handle are you sure responses that you will likely get from the adults in your life is so anticipate their questions before they ask them try to preview the conversations before they happen and come up with response to arguments and questions that will likely be asked